guys, welcome back to the Delta Dude. Um, today's video will focus on the BAE 146-300 Avro RJ100. And does it really need four engines? Like, I can go into a, I don't know, I'll go into a 787-8. It only needs two engines and it can fly a long way. But, um, where is it? It's right here. But why does this one need its four engines? That's my question. <coughs> I'm coughing a bit, but don't mind that. Um, so, I'm going to take off and see how it does. Um, we're at the Manchester Airport, Manchester International 5, runway 05. And, um, yeah, it's pretty bad. Well, let me retry this. Um, Oh wow, the air brakes on this thing in the back, you know, yeah, like, does this thing really need this four engine stuff? I have no idea. Let's land on this bad boy right here. Ooh. Water. Ooh. Yeah, um. Yeah, this thing, I don't think it needs four engines, actually. Like, what's the point? We give it two engines, because this thing is like a mini Antonov. Like, um, take a look at this one, and then, if I can find it, there it is. Look at this. Yeah, look at this guy. Like, does this thing need six engines? Or no? I mean, turbines, whatever. Um. Yeah. I don't understand this stuff. Um. Yeah, does the Antonov really need. The Antonov AN225 really need six engines? Like, why? Why would it need six? Like, give it four. And then the other one, the Avro, give it, like, oh my gosh, how much good does this thing have? The other one, give it, like, two, if you want to give it engines. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fourteen times two, that's twenty-eight tires for nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two tires needed for the Antonov. Um, yeah, I don't think any of this stuff is necessary, like, this thing I think only needs, like, four, not seven of these. I think this thing needs only, like, eight, not fourteen, here. Yeah, anyways, guys, thanks for watching, see you next time, like and subscribe, bye!